so here i'm going i'm going to discuss with you how to add different action buttons so that you can add the further records and save the save the records and if you want to delete so that you can delete the records so we have three uh, different mods available if i'm going to click over here in the student form in student information form so you can see form view layout view and design view mostly whatever we are uh, whenever we are, have to insert some things we go for uh, or perform some type of editing we go for design view but design view is very difficult for you to understand it is a complicated type of view so the same similar type of thing you can do uh, if you want to add some records buttons for example these buttons are available over here and add some text boxes and label boxes different types of things Nav navigation control so similar type of things similar type of design options you can have instead of design view you can also use layout view layout view is a bit easier as compared to design view and you can use those buttons over here as well so in design layout view when you go on the design tab so you can see the action buttons are available over here so when i'm going to click on the section button and i'm going to then apply this action button over here so this action button which action button category here is the categories of different buttons available and which action i want to add in this particular action button so record navigation find next find go to next go to previous record so record navigation i will select over here which action in record navigation go to next next you i want to see the button in the form of sample in the form of picture or in the form of text the written text is written next record so when you are new you can use text but when you are familiar that what picture this which picture means what so then mostly we use this type of button as you have seen in the uh, cassette players as well that this is next pre previous play pause different types of buttons so these are similar type of buttons but when you are new you can go with the text so that you know which button is this next record then next then finish so here is your action button you can drag it over here next record you want some more buttons so previous record so click over here navigation category and go to previous record next i don't want picture i want text next finish so next record previous record button we want some more buttons so i want record operation buttons add new record button i want so next text next and finish save record button i want so it is again this button is again in record operations that is add new record then save record text next finish and if i want to quit the application so i must have a quit 
if i want to close this application you can close from here as well and you can close this form by you pressing quit button as well so in record options no in form operations close form open form uh, we can use print form as well if you want a printout of this application form so sometimes we have print buttons as well so that instead of submitting uh, we have the hard copy of what we have submitted to the to a, any specific university as well. so we have student information print form finish what else we can have quit application quit application when we are going to click on this quit application the open form is going to be quit so excel is all automatically closed quit so we can use this is a dangerous sign cross it means that when you, if you click over on this the form will be closed so you instead of text you can use symbol of this picture as well because this is under this picture is where uh, people are very much familiar with this symbol cross next finish so now we are going to change our mode from the design or layout view from the design view or from the layout view to the form view now you can see we are in the form view and when we, the, these are previous records already available records you can see next record next record so we have already added two records by directly adding the record in table directly accessing the table and maintaining the record we have maintained two records over there so if we want any new record then we will go with, with add record button so when i'm going to click on add record all the fields are going to be eliminated uh, whatever the uh, whatever we have already added uh, we have very new fresh fields are available so that we can add further records so name uh, asim cnic is 3333 program he has enrolled um, biomedical fee paid date of admission 3rd of may then we have saved this record and now i'm going to add some further records so click on add record you can see third record is available in our table Kassel. so i'm going to close this uh, record then i'm going to add further some more records so name ka danish fourth record cnic 444 program nursing fees paid admission date fourth of may save record add further more record so we have saved this record but this is not available in this list why it is not available in this list because this table when we have opened this is the previous view of table the data is recorded for fourth data fourth record is added in this table but this tape the table open right now is from the previous record so if I'm going to close this table, 
and then again click double click on the table since the new record is added in the table but it is not displayed because since the table is already open so i'm when i'm going to again open this table the new record fourth record which is added in this table is updated in the table and you can see this record you can see now so when if i'm going to add further records and if i'm not going to close it so it is updated in this table but this preview table is the previous preview so this is the reason why you cannot see over here so first you have to close it and when you are going to reopen it the table the updated table is going to be open and all the records you have maintained you can see all those records now for example i i am going to add one or one or two more records then we will switch towards the report visit so See nice Elizabeth. Five 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 program business administration fees still unpaid admission date fifth of May. Save record add new record. Program of admission taken in biomedical DPT fees paid date of admission six. In this way, you can add in as much record as you are willing to save record. Now, after closing it. you can see all the records we have entered via form are available in our database table main database table so now we will go with the how to design the final daily or monthly or weekly report if you want to see that how many students have took admission in the entire week or in the entire one so for that we can dis generate our reports so since we are not the programmer so we will go with the report wizard as i already told you that wizard is for the non-programmer persons the report wizard you want to see all these fields in the report yes next now you want to see in which order the priority order you want to write down the id first or the name first or any you can change the fields displayed which field you want to display first and which field you display later you can change the priority from here as well so either you want it in the ascending order in this way or the descending order any order you can choose yeah here from here you can choose column Rep report in the form of columns in the tables are justified so tape i am going with the table you can choose landscape if there are more number of fields then landscape is the better option I do not have many fields, so right now portrait is this option is okay. Student information report. Finance. So you can see here I have my report. 
so layout view so that i can adjust the display so you can see so here you can take the preview of this all these reports and print and send to your admission manager that you have this this much admission for in this entire week Yes, it's paid or unpaid. And then you have the date of admission. In order to look better view of this report, I am adjusting these columns so that you it looks good in the printout. So this is how you can design your entire database in which you have tables, queries, forms, and reports. So you can see the preview of your report. This is the print preview. You can submit this report to your admission manager that we have completed our entire this much admissions in the entire week so this is how we can make a small database using microsoft access thank you